hard to believe in the case we're already on to round seven of, I don't know how many, eight, nine, probably nine. We got six more boxes of the IndyCar hanger boxes. Thanks again for watching, everybody. Remember, we're opening an entire sealed case, no longer sealed, of the retail product. We put our money where our mouth is on a sport that I love. We've pulled three autos and three numbered cards so far. The iconic images, which I'm digging, we pulled seven of them so far in 30 boxes. So they come out about one every five or so boxes, give or take. But uh, no numbered autos. We got another numbered card that's a blue. Digging the blues. Joe Newgarden, is that an Iowa card? I'm near the complete set of those again. Kyle Kirkwood, Devlin DeFrancesco. All right, Sato, I get the spacing right. Detroit again. I've been sleeving those up. I dig that. I think I'm near the complete set of those. Peterson, Bloomquist, Renus VK. Got him before. New Garden, Texas. Three wins at Texas. Funny, they scratch out the two. Those highlights cards are cool. Kind of milestone cards for the season. Let's see who our blue is. This is numbered to 99. These are tougher pulls. Polo. Got a lot of Polo. I'm guessing we get another Polo. Nope. Not that time. Hunter Daly. Joe Newgarden. Castro Neves. Those are blue. I think it's an Indy 500. 90. Oh, no, that's Elio. Ooh, that's cool. My wife's going to dig that. <laughs> She'll be like, you pulled the Elio. You pulled. That's not fair. You should have let me open these off camera. Elio. Too bad it's not the year he won the 500. He didn't win last year. He won the year before. Bloomquist. Bloomquist again, Moon Guard, and Award. Double down on the Award. I'm digging those uh, out of 99 blues. They got like a carbon fiber-like look. I really like those. They're, I mean, the QC on them looks pretty good too. I can't say I'm displeased with those cards. I got a mess behind me to clean up. Let's see, can we get another numbered card? In back-to-back -back boxes? Nope. We got one of those Indie Next series cards. Again, I think we're near the complete set of a couple things. And I'm sure on the base cards, we're there. Um, I'd have to believe by now. Devlin DeFrancesco. Trying to read that. Uh, Ferrucci, the Indie Road Course. Like those. Those are condition sensitive. Benjamin Peterson, Renus VK, RC Enerson, and top 50th, top 10 finish for Marcus Erickson. I know I'm kind of sleeving up randomly, but these cards, if you were ever going to grade these, not saying you should, because um, this sport doesn't have tons of mass appeal, but those are going to be some collectible cards that are very, very condition sensitive, being all. Um, they're almost like rainbow foils in a way. Kyle Kirkwood, Joe Newgarden, Iowa. We're missing mid-Ohio of, that's the third or fourth time we've gotten her. All right. <laughs> Linus Lundquist, Will Power, and Grosjean. Okay. Two boxes gone. $16 lit on fire. No, I'm just kidding. I wish this had more mass appeal. I wish this had the same appeal as like Formula One. It's not a tops, it's park side. But do you really care? Cards are cards, right? Does it really matter who has the license? I mean, I suppose from a nostalgic standpoint, maybe it does. But from an actuality standpoint, I don't think that should matter. Quality is quality, cards are cards, creativity is creativity. Whether it's Leaf, whether it's Wild Card, this is a licensed product. It's not like it's unlicensed. This is a licensed product. So to me, that gives it a leg up. Toronto. 
R.C. Anderson, Callum Eilat. Pit Pass is none other than Scotty D. Digging those Pit Pass cards. All right. Pato Award. We might have an iconic image here, I think. Looks like a foil card in the back. Those are usually not numbered. That ends up being the eighth one I think we've pulled. So let's hope for better luck than the first one, or first couple. Ray Hall, Stingray, Benjamin Peterson, Ferrucci, a fan favorite. That one looks like... Oh, oh there we go. See, I'm, I was wondering where these were. Helmet hardware, Connor Daly. These are tough pulls. You're not going to get many of these. To put that whole set together, that's going to take a while. Uh, that is the first one that we've pulled in 33 boxes. That's hard to believe. The helmet hardware ones are hard to come by. I, for a second there, I thought maybe they were in hobby only. Nope, they're here. But we'll put that one on the stage where it belongs. Helmet hardware. A little bit of a dinged corner. But that is Connor Daly, another fan favorite. Local kid. Went to Noblesville. Actually, I don't think he went to Noblesville High School. He's from Noblesville. But he is the son of former IndyCar driver Derek Daly and the stepson of Indy 500 or Indy Motor Speedway ambassador extraordinaire Doug Bowles. Doug Bowles is a cool dude. All right. Maybe we got one of those podium cards or maybe an auto. I don't know. Hope for an auto. Pelo, that is Road America again. There's something different here. Something feels different about this pack. Scotty D, Augustine Canapino. We've got Takuma Sato. We got Long Beach again for the fifth time. Ferrucci, Renus VK. We'll sleeve it up later. Rookie Benjamin Peterson. I guess we'll see that one up later. I don't really want to call that a highlight. Catherine Leg, Connor Daly. Joe Newgarden again. Peters or Stingray. Marcus. Malukas. Ah, Indy Road Course. That's what it was. Top three at the Indy Road Course. I thought for a second maybe we got an auto, an auto again. Those are tougher pulls. I've said that in the last video. They're tougher pulls. But apparently the helmet hardware are the real tough pulls. Those you will not get a lot of. You open an entire case, those are, those are like short prints. They're going to be extremely hard to come by. So value those cards. The helmet hardware. You get the right guy, you did pretty well. We got Connor Daly. I don't know who we should have got. Maybe we should have got Scott Dixon, Alex Pillow, Will Power, New Garden. We got a fan favorite, though. All right. What do we got here in this pack? Another Indy Next driver at the tail end. Filler card. A couple car cards. Iowa. We got Jack Harvey, another fan favorite. Pit Pass, Catherine Leg. I don't think I've had that one yet. Dinged up corner on that one. It's unfortunate. Wasn't going to grade it anyway, but Alex Pillow, 50 starts. Yep. He's been around a while, a little while. All right. What do we got here? We've got an Indy Next driver. Grosjean, Grosjean, Peterson, Ferrucci, Dixie, Nolan Siegel. Again, that's the second time I've pulled that. That must be a really short checklist. I wish I would have pulled more helmet hardware cards instead of just one. And so, I mean, is that a case hit? Maybe. I don't know. 
feel like that could be a case hit. Um, we got one card numbered to 10 so far in all the boxes we've opened. And we had some of those iconic images, which don't come out at a two regular clip. And we had three autographs. So, and we got like another highlights card. I don't really like those. Kyle Kirkwood, I've gotten that one before. New Garden, Armstrong, Toronto. Now that I've completed the full set of those, I'm not as eager to uh, get fill in the gaps. Callum Eilat, Pit Pass, Yuri Vips. That is Elio, 31 race wins, 50 P1 awards, and 94 podiums in his career. He's had a really good career. And he won the Indy 500 four times. Paul Tracy might say differently. He's not wrong. Got lucky on that call. McLaughlin, Dixie, Sato, Malukas, McLaughlin. Oh, we got another. Oh, boy. That, that's probably one of the better autos you can get. Pato O'Ward. Yeah, baby. Woo! That is nice. I know, I know, you can go to races and get his auto. No doubt. He will sign. It's not like he, he's, a, he's not a tough catch, right? But in this product, that's a tough pull. And that's, a, that's one of the better autos because he's a really good up-and-coming driver. And I think at some point he's going to put it all together and he's going to have a chance to win championships, win races, win the 500. And that would be considered a rookie auto of, of a really good driver. All right, nice recap we got on this one. This is a fun one. Like I said, I'm digging this product. If, if it wasn't for having an, a finite bank account, I would buy more of these because <laughs> I like them. Call me crazy. I know most of my fans watching my channel are basketball, baseball, or football fans, but, man, I dig, I dig IndyCar, and they did a really decent job on this. All right, we got some track cards. Uh, to fill in gaps of maybe a second complete set. I like those cards. Pit passes. I, I know I wasn't sleeving all of them, but we're getting probably near the complete set of those. We got a host of highlights cards. No repeats here. Again, I'm probably getting near a complete set of those. We got an Elio Castro Neves out of 99 on the blue carbon fiber. Love that card. It looks so sick. I wish these would show up better. Like, I don't know, maybe that angle's better. They're cool. I like those cards. We've got a helmet hardware of Connor Daly. This is the first one we've had of these. I don't think these are numbered, but these are tough, tough pulls. And last but not least, we got a Pato Award autograph. I don't think it's numbered. No, nope. but we got a Pato Award autograph. So in six boxes from retail, we've got, if I could center it, a card numbered to 99, an on-card Pato Award rookie auto, and a helmet hardware of Connor Daly. So I'm digging this product, man. I am digging this product. I wish I had 200 of these. I know I don't have an infinite bank account, but man, I, I love opening this product. This is so much fun for me. Thanks again, everybody, for watching. I hope you enjoyed that one. Stay tuned for more content as always, and I'll see you in the next video.